President Trump will deliver a statement today after Iran fired missiles at two Iraqi bases that house American troops. And according to CBS News, there were no immediate reports of casualties or significant damage. I mean, as news reporter Jan Carabao is following the developments and joining us live now in studio with the latest. Jan, good morning. Jim and Janelle, good morning. We are still awaiting a report from the Pentagon on these strikes, but one of the targets was the Al-Assad Air Base, and that base was already on high alert before the attack pausing operations there against ISIS and turning the attention instead on a revenge attack by Iran. Iran launched more than a dozen missiles overnight aimed at two Iraqi bases housing U.S. troops. Iranian state TV said it was revenge for last week's killing of top general Qasem Soleimani. Soleimani was buried hours after the attack following a huge multi-city funeral procession filled with anti-American statements. One base targeted overnight was in Erbil in northern Iraq. After that, we also heard uh, helicopters in the sky. And just a little while ago, we also heard a fighter jet uh, overhead. The other target was Al-Assad Air Base, home to about 1,500 personnel. We're prepared to attack if we have to. Earlier in the day, President Trump sent a warning to Iran. If Iran does anything that they shouldn't be doing, they're going to be suffering the consequences. But after the attacks, the president tweeted, all is well and so far so good. Iran's foreign minister also reacted on social media saying, quote, Iran took and concluded proportionate measures in self-defense and they do not seek escalation or war. It's very simple what we want from Iran. Stop trying to kill us. Meantime, some U.S. lawmakers hope both sides show restraint. This could spiral, spiral out of control very, very quickly. Many Iranian Americans feel the same. I feel for the troops that are going there right now. I feel for their families. I feel that both sides, the people, the public, they don't want to have any war. Now, the Department of Defense is not commenting on what a potential U.S. response would look like. Meantime, Iranian state TV says Iran has 100 other targets if the U.S. does respond. We, of course, will be following the president's statements when he makes them later today. Jim and Janelle, back over to you. Thank you, Jan Moore.